Arizona Lithium and Pantera Lithium are taking large steps forward in the lithium brine industry in North America using direct lithium extraction methods. To help us understand more today, we're joined by Managing Director of Arizona Lithium, Paul Lloyd, and CEO of Pantera Lithium, Barnaby Edgerton Warburton. Paul, can you explain to me what DLE is and how does it differ from a traditional extraction method? Yes, DLE, or direct lithium extraction, is a very innovative method that will change the lithium industry uh, long term. It's a very uh, productive method. You have high recovery rates. We see companies like Coke Industries investing a lot of money and innovating in that space. AZL have recently partnered with Coke, and we're very proud to be partnering with Coke. ESG is very significant when it comes to DLE production. People could think about it effectively as a pool filter at home. You're bringing up material from a deep aquifer, you're putting it through that filter, and you're absorbing the lithium inside that filter, and then you're passing the material through and re-injecting the impurities back into the ground. So there's no foreign bodies going back into the ground, and uh, it's a very efficient, very effective way to produce lithium, and it's very relevant for the North American market. Barnaby, I understand one of the main draws of DLE is that it proposes a bit of an environmental advantage and efficiency. Could you tell me a bit about that part? That's a great question. Well, the main difference is from hard rock mining of espodumit, you know, you're not leaving a big hole in the ground. You're not leaving tailings dams at surface chemicals. So it's very efficient. It's very environmentally friendly. You don't see it. You know, most of these operations you'll drive straight past and not even realize they're there. Paul, DLE wasn't invented yesterday. I understand there's a lot of technological advancements made in recent years and even months. Could you tell me about that? Yeah, so companies such as Coke that uh, AZL's just partnered with are um, spending a lot of money on innovating that uh, space for DLE and um, they're creating a lot of improvements. Obviously, in regards to DLE, to produce lithium from DLE at a commercial level, it fits particularly on the left-hand side of the cost curve. So there's some massive advantages of uh, producing from DLE, and I see that in the next year or two, it'll be a major part of the, uh, the lithium industry. Obviously, as Barnaby mentioned, the environmental footprint associated with DLE is considerably less than other methods of lithium mining, and it was 100% rehabilitation. If you think about it from an oil and gas point of view, the footprint would be totally eliminated after production. But these wells will run for 15 to 20 years, so they have a long life as well. Barnaby, I don't know if you brought your crystal ball today, but I'm wondering if I could prod your brain a bit about where you see lithium going this year and the next in terms of supply and demand. It's also another great question and a question that um, the market is trying to uh, understand right now. And I think what the market and what investors are missing are factors like uh, AI and data centers in the US and around the world, I guess Europe as well, and the amount of lithium demand that they will have. And then you throw in the constant level of EV and EV growth demand. And then, you know, the, the outliers like humanoids, robots. Um, we've just seen Tesla announce that they will kick off with their um, Optimus robot this year. He looks to be selling 20 million robots in the next three to four years. When every robot has a kilogram of uh, uh, lithium in its battery, there's a significant uptick in demand coming. So I think that we're looking this year stable and maybe a, a, slight, a slight deficit moving into uh, large deficits in 26, 27, and by 2030, I think that we're in a lot of trouble in terms of supply. It's been a pleasure to chat today. Thank you both for coming in. Thanks, Fraser. Thank you, Fraser.